This fractal is known as the Koch curve, after the Swedish mathematician Helga van Koch, who was the first to come up with this construction shortly after 1900. I might slip up and call it, uh, uh, pronounce it the American way, the Koch curve, but I'll try not to. Okay, so our task is to come up with the self-similarity dimension for this. So we'll use the regular formula. Number of small copies is magnification factor to the d dimension. So first let's think about the number of small copies. So I'll look at the, uh, I guess the bottom figure, and I see four small copies. One, two, three, and four. So the number of small copies is four. What's the magnification factor? Well, the magnification factor is three. I would need to um, stretch this three times in order for this small piece to be as long as that one. And that's true for all these shapes. This piece, I would need to pick it up, move it here, and then stretch it three times to have it be um, the same length. You can see also, right, one, two, three. So they're, uh, so again, we'll have to stretch it by three. All right, so the stretch factor, the magnification factor is three. It's raised to the d power. So now we use logarithms to solve for d. Take the log of both sides. Use the exponent property of logs to bring d downstairs outside. Divide through by log 3, and we get so there's our answer. Sorry. The self similarity dimension d is log 4 over log 3. And we can get a number for this with a calculator. 4 log divided by 3 log equals around 1.262. So d is approximately 1.262. So the self-similarity dimension for the Koch curve is around 1.262.